Hello, I'm Trisha Laughlin Bloom, and this is Norman Bloom, Bit by Bit. Today we are looking at biomorphs in Norman Bloom's paintings. Let's start in the exhibition this time. This is an installation view of our retrospective Norman Bloom Metamorphosis. What do these works from the 1970s and 80s have in common, besides a daring use of vibrant color? Notice the curving lines and bulging intertwining forms in all of them. No straight lines or sharp edges anywhere here. So what exactly is a biomorph? The dictionary says it's a decorative form or object resembling a living organism. Bio, it's biological, and morph, it's undergoing change. In art, biomorphic forms are abstract, but they remind us of living matter and processes of growth and organic development. Think about the shape of an amoeba or a lima bean or internal organs or the mutating forms of plants and insects. By the late 1990s, Bloom was creating a lot of layered ornate forms like the ones we see here in Untitled 1998. Using ink and watercolor, he's painted three figures or gestating organisms that seem to bristle with life. A reminder that this imagery comes straight from Bloom's imagination and is intentionally enigmatic. Now let's look at the large-scale painting Eye of Salonika, also from 1998. This was one of the last paintings that Bloom painted. At the center of this triptych, we see a burst of pattern and leaping figures, but the two outer panels are the most biomorphic. Clusters of abstract alien-looking forms with tendril-like arms hovering in a kind of cosmic dance. That's it for now. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.